Tonight, the Silsby School District is investigating claims that a substitute school bus driver turned off the air conditioning and made students sweat during their ride home. And kids claim she wouldn't even let them roll down the windows. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson talked to one mother who was outraged. Well, this happened yesterday while the substitute driver behind, was behind the wheel. Sarah Petter says the driver was trying to punish the kids for being rowdy on the ride home. I need to call the bus barn. Like, we need to tell somebody that this is going on. Sarah Petter has five children that ride bus number 35 in Silsby. She says her children came home Tuesday drenched in sweat. Everybody needs to sit down and be quiet. I know it's hot in here, but you can thank your little friends because it's hot because they wouldn't sit down and be quiet. Those little friends in question, elementary students. She said he was really little. He was like pre-K or kindergarten. Said his face was completely red, his hair was soaked, and he was just crying, just like bawling crying because he was so hot. Petter called the bus barn to complain. Initially, she says her complaint wasn't taken seriously. I expected whenever I called that they would be like, oh no, that's unacceptable, that can't be happening, but they defended it. First thing she said was, well, that's her prerogative. The bus is one of 28 in Silsby ISD with AC. According to a district spokesperson, there is no policy that keeps kids from rolling down the windows on buses that have AC. Parents say the substitute driver refused to let kids open the windows. She just kept going, you're going to burn up till you shut up. You need to sit, you need to sit, you need to be quiet because the high schoolers were trying to stand up for the little kids. Petter just wants the district to address what happened to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. When we send our kids to school, we assume that they're safe. And right now it's, it's questionable. I talked to a spokesperson with the school district. They can't comment on the investigation, but say they take this claim very seriously. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.